How you doing folks? Slight change. See, we're going to diggers. <laughs> we're going to turn the camera the other way. We're going to diggers. Um, we're over here in Knocknagoshal, I suppose if those of you who don't know where Knocknagoshal is. It's kind of halfway between Abbey Field, which is in the Limerick side of Kerry, and Castle Island. Knocknagoshal will be in the middle of the two. We're over here with this fella. Herald he plant sales. Um, that's his phone number there. We're going to give a, a quick look at what he has. I put his details in the, the description below. Um, Bill Hurley, he does a rake of um, diggers, as you can see. He does dumpers. There are six ton dumpers. There are three ton dumpers. There's a little bobcat. There's a 1.5 ton. I think she's a cabot over in the yard. He also does a massive, massive selection of buckets. I look at them here in front of me and outside me. Um, they must be... I don't know, there must be 200 buckets here. There's everything from griddle buckets to to small mini digger buckets to rubber tracks to small ripper tool to big ripper tees to uh, baskets for teleporters. But look, we'll give a look at them and uh, we'll give a look at the diggers and the dumpers first and we'll swim back around and we'll give a look at, uh, at the buckets. They're all here for you. Knock the gospel. Here, this is the man. Herlihy. Bill, Will, Willem or Michael Herlihy. But I can't, I'm not even going to try and... That's it there, look. Press pause. Um, like I said, he's just here in Nocknagoshal. He a lot of machines, he's a lot of export, buys a lot of machines out of England. Very good, very clean machines. Um, if you're in the market for Twaits, uh, Hitachi, what else is there? There's a Manitou, there's she, uh, whatever she is, she's here in the yard. And um, we'll swing her on the camera and we'll see what else he has for you. All right, guys, here we go. We have shot of buckets here, look, griddle buckets. If any of you don't know what they are, they're basically for taking the stones. They're de-stoning buckets. Um, what else do we have? We have a couple of mini digger buckets, a couple of JCB buckets, set of fox. Um, we have a couple of ripper teeth here, small ripper teeth. We have, as I would call it, kind of French drain buckets, um, teleporter buckets. And we have a teleporter basket inside there in the corner again. Absolutely fantastic stuff. They're all well minded, well clean stuff, clean, very, very clean, um, well minded equipment. Um, up first in the line here we have a Twaits six ton dumper. Okay, she is, my camera's kind of twisted a bit sideways, we can straighten it, we can't. Um, six ton dumper. I'm not too sure of the year, but we'll give a quick walk around it. Look, nice cabin on this. Okay, the skip was painted. There's new stickers on it, but it's going to have that. Look, even look at the steps. There's no kind of massive wear on on here where, look, where you'll be getting in. The paint should be knocked off of that if she's a lot of work done, but it obviously don't. Even, even to look underneath it, um, it hasn't, it was never scratched or rallied or abused it has that reversing camera there on it as well be safe get this thumbs up um to wait, like i said to wait six ton she's the the guard and all in front of the the cab so four good tires in it four wheel drive the whole lot oh she's the swivel tip as well actually very very nice um they're actually a brilliant dumper for tipping into drains or whatever for those of you who don't know it, the whole skip can actually turn sideways either way and you can tip out to one side or the other. She is clean, like even look at the rims, she was never bogging her inside in a hole or anything like that. Oh, there's a plate here on it. What year are you telling me? She's this year of manufacture, 2019, 2019. Um, so she's there for you. Next to her we have... A high tashi is she what is she is she a six ton is she more is she an eight ton is there a number on it she is we must go to the other side i don't know what she is she's there's actually nice good tracks in it she's actually well well minded again machine um oh what is she she's an 8.5 ton i wasn't too far off i wasn't too far off the mark 8.5 ton even you can see it there like duck all the paint is still on the undercarriage and everything. Even a nice quick hitch, the whole lot. She's the side slew and everything. Like she'll turn, she'll turn both ways. She can dig offset or she can dig whatever way you want her to dig. There's actually very, very good tracks under it. She's actually dry. All the machines are dry. There's very, very little oil under any of them. 
Um, what year is this, I wonder? Year, check dates. No, there's no year manufacturer on that. Um, but like that, no, a very, very clean, very, very nice clean machine again. 8.5 ton. If you look at the back of it there, like, you know, okay, she did get a rub of a, a paintbrush at some stage, but nothing major. All here, straight out the gap, if you have a, a bit of a project coming on. Access 8.5 USB, she plug into USB port. Don't know. Okay, we have another one, another Hitachi again. Um, she's got the, the cab guards on top, you can see all that actually. The cab guards there on top, that stuff. For those of you who don't know, it's a guard for the windows if you were in a not so nice um, area and you wanted to put them on the windows when you were done. I know a fella that actually bought a set of them recently for for a Hyundai. I think he paid somewhere in the region of about two and a half thousand euros for them. So that's there, that's worth looking at. Um, what is she? Is she a 12 ton? She's a 13.5 ton, Axis 135. Oh, she's zero tail swing as well. She's a nice clean machine. Never painted in the back or nothing. She has the reversing camera or the, the camera. Uh, never painted in the back or nothing. Good tracks under it. Um, see that? Or where the, the teeth, look at the sprockets on that. Like, this is, you can tell a lot with the sprockets, you know. These sprockets become pointy after a while. Um, they're a long, long way from pointy. When they get pointy, you know she's she's had better days and she's burnt out, but they're not. And even look at the idler. Look how far back the idler is in it. Um, there's a heap of, they're actually nearly brand new. They're like brand new chains. Like you could shove that idler, that's the idler. That's the sprocket, for those of you that don't know, that's the, the drive, that drives the machine, that turns there, the sprockets, and this is what they call an idler. But this idler, that, that pin there can go all the way out. There's a pin there if you look at it, see it? That pin can go all the way out to the very end. There's an awful, awful lot of wear left in that. Um, she's got the full lights, the whole lot in it. What year is she? A year manufactured in 2019. Again, nice clean machine. She's there for you. It's K E L T O and Skelton. Does anyone know who Skelton is? Skelton were probably the original owners of it. Uh, look, she's piped and all for rock breaker, and she's piped for the third service. Um, do you see the second pipe here? The smaller one of the two. That is, to me, that is for when you're mulching or anything like that. Um, that's, you need a third service. There's probably one on the other side as well, just see for the rock breaker. See it there? You have two. She piped for a rock breaker. I presume you're piping. Oh, there's two more services up there. I presume she could catch... I don't know, I'm not even going to try and comment on this, she could, um, you could have a rock crusher or something on that. Um, nice quick hitch and all this, skeleton, this K-E-L-T-O, and I must look up who skeleton are. Um, again, moving on, we have an SX-9000, um, what is she, she's a Barford uh, dumper, I presume she's a 9 ton dumper. Um, he told me he just took this in, in as a trade-in. Um, Oh, look, she's fine. She's grand. He said he must wash and get it, get it kind of cleaned up. Okay, the body has a few, few belts and a few kicks and a few marks in it. But look, she's not bad. She's absolutely, she's, she's there for you. If you wanted it, um, can we go up in it and see what kind of hours are on it? We can't. There's no. I can't see it anywhere. There probably is a clock someplace, but. Not going to go looking for it like she's that's a she's actually a weapon of a dumper that's actually a big that's actually a big enough dumper she's she's all there like even the mud guards in the back like okay they're not bait they're not bait to death there's nothing even the steps are in good condition as you see steps bent and but no she is what she is Barford of course, Barford were Aveline Barford. Um, I think for my few American viewers, they were uh, Bucyrus, uh, Eerie Bucyrus. I think there was some connection. I could be wrong. There might be someone there to tell me I am wrong or I'm not wrong. 
for I think they were they had all some connection between the whole lot of them. That's if you're looking at that drip and that's not oil, that's water. It's after making an absolute flood of rain. So that is water. Okay. Moving on again, we have a Manitou teleporter. A set of Fox, he told me he just took this in in a trade-in as well. Uh four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer. She can crab steer the whole lot. Um Jack's in the front of a set of forks with it. I presume there's a bucket over there. You might be able to get the bucket off him in a, a good deal if you were able to do a good deal with him. These are a brilliant machine. Like these will turn. These will actually. Do you see that that machine? Oh, that's not a whole pile of a big space there, but you could actually turn that around in one go in that space. It's just. They're a lovely, lovely machine. Absolutely lovely machine. Ideal for a site. Um, a lot of fellas now use them for loading round bales. Um, she might be a slightly bit bigger for loading round bales. Maybe the one next door is better off for that. But um, a lot of fellas use them for that. They're loading round bales. A lot of farmers are using them now because they can lift their own bale and they can throw it in the out there. They're not overly expensive and they're easy enough to maintain with very, very little electrics in them. And they have the reach, they have the whole lot. And you put a man basket on them like we were looking at over in the corner and away you go. Okay, next to that we have a JCB, what is she? It's JCB stage. Of course, JCB actually, there's a lovely JCB 3CX over here. We'll give a look at that as well. She's a JCB, um, I don't know what model she is, but she's... Kind of a JCB small teleport. This is the one more or less now for um for loading your own bales out in the field. Just she's four wheel. I think she's four wheel steer. She I'm nearly certain she probably is four wheel steer. Four wheel steer. Four wheel drive. Um, look at the view you have. You have a 360 view out of that cab. Absolutely fantastic view. And of course JCB, as far as I know, are 70 years this year. Um, JCB started out making trailers. I think just after World War Two, they started out making trailers out of surplus equipment that was left over from the war. Um, the axles and the drawbars and JCB, I think it's, J is it Joseph Christopher Bamford. He started out uh, 70 years ago making making trailers. So here next to that we have a Twaits, uh, a Twaits six ton dumper. See the, the size difference? We'll swing the camera back to the right here now and you'll see the nine ton. Look at the, the look at the line in the fence. Um, there's a big difference between the six and the nine ton. Um, Twitch, she's got the swivel skip again. Um, a couple of marks in the skip, but not bad at all. She's nice. Has four very good tires in it. Even I'm not going to go up there now, but look at the thing above. Like you know, she's the steps are not bent. There's nothing. She's four wheel drive. Um, beacons the whole lot on it. Absolutely grand machine all lights working in it and everything and like i said what bill has here is always very very good stuff there's a nameplate on it here we'll just give a quick look at it uh where does it say year of manufacture 2017 so 2017 twaits actually i might have a twaits all drive ton and a half or two ton dumper got off of a fella but we'll give a look at that as well we're hoping we'll have, it's a vintage yoke, so hopefully I'll have that in um, a couple of weeks' time. We're in the middle of a, a negotiation with him at the moment. All right, excuse me. Next to him, we have a JCB, a small little JCB telehandler. Um, absolutely a neat yoke now for around a site or something like that. Probably a bit on the small side for your own bale man. Probably the one here next door is probably better for that. But you know, this is a native yoke for around the site, or maybe for a farmer feeding her own bale. So this is again um lovely straight machine, absolutely fantastic machine, just uh four wheel drive of course, four wheel steer, but even though the tires that are on it are more for a concrete yard I'd say, but they're probably it, this is a this would be an ideal machine now for some farmer feeding round bales. Like these are Low to the ground, very low clearance, you know, probably centre of gravity, you're not going to turn it over that easy. Look at the view you have out of the cab again, just absolutely brilliant. Okay, moving on fast, we're clocking up in 14 minutes here. We have a Twaits 3 ton, this is kind of like what I'm after buying, but the one I bought is a lot, lot smaller and an awful, awful lot older. Um, 
she's got the swivel tip dumper again. She's actually kind of a high tip. Um, you can see where she's hinged there. So she's going to tip, that's to her tip point. So she's going to be a very, very high tip. Actually, this one as well is kind of a high tip. She's tipped from there as well. So, uh, three ton dumper. Um, is there a tag in it? And we'll see what year she is. Hang on now. We'll go to this one, year of manufacture, 2018. But again, look at that. Like there's no paint, the paint's not worn off it. It's just, again, a fabulous looking, absolutely brilliant machine. Um, again, look at this. 70 years this year, JCB. Absolutely, that is a fresh machine. He told me that machine is actually sold, but he told me he's actually two more of them bought. And so if you are looking in the market for a JCB, make sure you contact him. And I guarantee you he will have something for you. And if he doesn't, he'll be getting it in very shortly. Bill always has very, very fresh machines here. Um, always good, good quality stuff. Um, of course, she's got the, the famous JCB uh, Ford and one bucket. Like you have the bucket as you can see it, right? And then this bit hinges up, and then you kind of have a bulldozer blade. Uh, that's two. Then you can have the as a grab. That's three, and you have the forks on top here. The forks fold out. That's four. Four and one. Um, brilliant. Absolutely JCB, of course. Like a renowned for like JCB. I think. Uh, I looked it up one time, JCB are actually in the Oxford English Dictionary as, it's a word, it's actually came in there last year, the year before, JCB is actually a word now, and look it up for yourself, you don't believe me, it is there, and it means uh, some something to do with construction equipment or something like that, so JCB like a massive influence on, on everything, of course when I was growing up, everything, everything here was a JCB, everything yellow was a JCB, but um, of course there's different stuff now and, uh, and I think like I said I think JCB was 70 years this year and that's how they did start um, Joseph Christopher Bamford bought um, surplus equipment off of after World War II and he started making um, trailers that's how he started off and went from there um, of course JCB also have the record for the fastest tractor um, was it over in England inside in some some it wasn't really a conventional tractor but it was the jcb fast track kind of powered up a small bit and um they they have the, they have the record the guinness world book of records for the fastest tractor all right guys here we have a t two two akuta two akuta um again nice tidy machine these are these come in so many different variations a friend of mine has one very similar to this and very similar in size but the jib here is actually back the side of the cab. The cab is more out to one side. And the whole arm can slide back into the machine. And it's actually a brilliant machine for inside in a forestry. And that's what he's using it for. It's for thinning out his own forestry. And um, again, just absolutely brilliant machine. Of course, you can get them in any variation you want. If you're willing to buy them new. And they're going to be there for you. But... This one is there for you. Why would you buy new when you can get something as clean as this? Even the tracks are good in it. There's no marks. There's no... She doesn't look like she was a machine that was abused. And again, she has the, the sideway boom the whole lot. Um, Bobcat. Bobcat S150. Um, I can't. I don't know. I, I, I tried to drive one once or twice and I couldn't absolutely make head or tail of it. I was kind of afraid of it. It was kind of a bit like driving a Mechelec. If any of you ever drove a Mechelec, um, it was a Mechelec one time I belonged to a crowd I worked with and it was like a spider. The whole front would turn around but the engine was behind and the engine didn't turn around and it was just, it was, it was a frightening, it was a frightening experience. It was like driving a rubber duck without putting on the locks. It was actually worse, absolutely worse than that. But she's an absolutely spotless machine. Again, I was actually just walked through them a while ago. Like, look at the, the lower coil. She was touched up with paint and stuff. But they are a brilliant machine. Of course, a lot of farmers now as well have the, have the bobcats. And they're using them for feeding round bales. You can put a grab on the front of them. And um, put on the grab. It'll grab your bale. And they are big enough. That one is well big enough. Um, to, to grab all the own bales you want. Okay, next to that we have, is she a Kubota? She's a Kubota, I'd say. Um, U48-4. Um, have we, I can't see here the manufacturer. I can't manufacture it. 
year 2018 again lovely lovely clean machine even look at it there look at the underneath of the carriage there just above the tracks never cotton rocks they always get cotton rocks um of course that's what you know, a lot of companies there they're buying good machines they're buying good reliable machines and they're trading them in after a couple of years and they're here for you like you know these are these are again a fabulous fabulous machine Kubota of course well manufactured well whatever of course Kubota now we're doing full range tractors well in Ireland actually if you have a Kubota tractor and, or a Kubota garage I'd love to get a spin on a Kubota tractor for a day so if you have a Kubota garage let me know or anyone Sani are they Sani's we can go any place Volvo of course everybody loves a Volvo a Volvo is absolutely brilliant she's a one what is she 1.8 ton um look at that like she's a neat little digger of course actually i was looking at this while ago you can actually narrow in and out the tracks so whatever whatever doorway the cab would fit in there um the, the hole that's going to go in of course look they're brilliant they're, the mountain hardship you would hear she broke identification number uh manufactured in 2017 um so even look i'm not going to open the door of it look into the cab line she is spotless she is very very clean very very well minded very well looked after um just they're a lovely machine i drove one there for a while and actually you know when you can widen out no i never drove one where you could widen out the tracks but like widening out the tracks and that and stuff it's going to steady it up it's going to steady it up an awful awful lot and okay the bucket is small the bucket the bucket is smaller than the one next door to it but i'm sorry lads this is an awful lot better than your shovel um kubota last in the line um smart kubota what is she 0 0.8 0.8 0.83 yeah she's 0 0.83 of a ton um what do we have a year of manufacture well it's not 2025 number of parts okay can't see here or oh, maybe down here uh year of manufacture doesn't and 17 2017 year of manufacture absolutely look a lot of fellas have these these will go in the doorway of your house um a lot of fellas have them you can get them piped up oh shit i was gonna say you can get them piped for rock breakers look piped already for a rock breaker very little machine very small machine very small machine very little can go wrong with these okay they're not a big bulky machine you have your your blade here for pushing you have your bucket look there's no quick hitch on it so there's no wear on that plate plate like so you have your levers you have your safety like just look at the tracks the tracks are as good as new and that like so that is there for your like you like again no root and tear and i see a lot of fellas have these now and um what they're using them for is for graveyards digging graves in graveyards um a bit morbid morbid but look that's fine you see that you can actually fold down your your roll frame pull out your pins here and that'll hinge down hinge forward and um yeah that's it away you go there are all there for you lads let's give a quick walk through them we'll give one quick look at the buckets we're up in 23 minutes. This is the longest video I made in a long time, but that's, that's a smashing JCB. She is absolutely smashing. She is just, look at all the glass in the cab and everything, and they're brilliant. JCB, look it up if you don't believe me. The Oxford English Dictionary, JCB, a new one now, not one that's 10 years old. JCB actually went in as a word, and the Oxford English Dictionary, I think it was in last year, 2022 maybe so it's there for you now look at all the buckets here lads this is some collection of buckets they are all here for you look but they're all three foot grading buckets more grading buckets we have foot buckets we have uh it says six inch buckets two foot buckets 18 inch buckets buckets with teeth buckets without teeth um actually you see this here i thought this was very very interesting i see it there one day this kind of a hitch here where you can actually put the bucket on to the onto the your um pushing bar your your blade on the mini digger 
and you can carry the bucket along with that or it makes it easier to grab them as well look at all that we have six inch buckets there we have nine inch buckets there's two foot buckets there's 18 18 inch buckets there's three foot buckets there's a four foot grading bucket there's bigger buckets there's jcb buckets there's every kind of a bucket you want all the way along here to the bigger stuff of course where we have look big grading buckets in the back there four foot grading buckets um again griddle buckets here but this is you scoop out the earth you shake them and the earth will fall through it'll keep out the stones very handy now if you were doing a lawn a big lawn for a big bucket like but you know if you want to take out the stones or of, of anything like that um for those of you that don't know buckets like that it'd be used we say where you'd be digging a trench for laying a cable and you just don't want to be using a big big bucket to be taking out the stuff um a couple of more jcb buckets there a couple of i don't know what they are v buckets i would call them french drain bucket that that one there upside down inside the thing we have a couple of ripper tees for those of you that don't know what that is a ripper tooth is something if you were inside in very hard pincely stony ground you put on that it would rip it and then you put on the bucket and you better take it out take out the loose stuff with the bucket um a couple of cutting edge or more people would call them gummy buckets and again just to get a smooth finish because these are obviously going to leave stuff behind them so you get a smooth finish on that and um bigger grading buckets here and um that's kind of it we have a set of um pellet forks and again grading buckets this thing here i only just spotted this now look down the ground kind of a, a leveler for um a teleporter for something with all the buckets so again guys that's kind of it um so thanks to bill currently here plant sales again that's his car there look okay take a screenshot of that or right, hold it there for a second they're just in Knocknagoshal, just outside outside uh be field they're probably closer to be field than they are castle island but even if even what's here is if even if here is not for you if what's here is not for you bill has constantly um constant changing of stuff like i was here a couple of years ago i know okay years ago it has all changed since but i was here years ago and i know fellas that come up here and fellas that have bought stuff off of bill and service is good maintenance is good um records of them all he can tell you where I think he's told me himself he buys off of maybe three or four people in the UK. Um, a lot of his stuff goes out and um, he, he knows where it's buying it. He knows where it's coming from. Some of it might even be fleet stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. Lads, give a like, give a subscribe. And if you're still there, leave a comment. And do we have a draw for the, this jacket? Can you see it? The silage men and we'll draw for the jacket i pick three again we're picking three every video we've done seven or eight videos now and we're picking three every video and uh you get the winner gets the jacket there's a mug and there's a thermos to go to the second and third prizes we have a number of stuff sent out already but unfortunately they didn't want to tell me their name one fella from dingle uh there was a fella from kildare a couple of fellas from cork there's actually a jacket gone to the uk this morning so lads, thanks very much. Give a like, give a subscribe, and um, we'll see what we can do. We're up in 28 minutes. It's going to be a long one, lads. I hope you bear with it till the end. And uh, like I said, give Bill Hurley um, a call, and he'll start you over a bit of gear. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye now.